Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you're into 3D printing, photography, drones, tech, laser engraving and whatever interests me, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything. We're talking about a laser engraver today, we're talking about a combo, a combo made of a laser engraver, 10 watt from Algo Laser, enclosure as you can see here in the back and the honeycomb. They were so kind to send me a sample for reviewing purpose and I'm gonna tell you what I loved, what I didn't love, but let's roll the intro first and let's talk about it. Before getting into the video, I would like to thank Geeks Outfit for providing me with three amazing hoodies. I really must say the quality and the print quality are really, really good. All the links for your reference will be down in the description. Thanks again, Geeks Outfit, for supporting me on this journey. So, Algo Laser. We're talking about a laser 10 watt power, 40 by 40, which is kind of a medium size for for your studio. Algo Laser were so kind to send me also the enclosure which is made of a foldable material. I think there's card box inside, but I would say even though it doesn't have a base, I was like engraving and no smell was coming out. No smoke was left so ever in the, in the room, so I was engraving in a beautiful, safe and not smelly environment because of the fun, the structure it, it has inside, together with the hose that brings all the smoke outside. And that's something that I really, really love in an engraver. I mean, if you buy just the engraver, consider buying also the, the enclosure because it really makes a difference. Most of all, if you're using a studio like me and it's winter outside and it's raining, so that's something really, really useful to keep in mind. Together with the laser and the en enclosure, they also sent me the honeycomb, honeycomb which is 40 by 40 and it's raining so bad, that's what I was talking about. So this makes a good effort if you're engraving inside and if you need to breathe the same air while you're engraving. DIY because you have to put it together and as you can see from these images I had to put it together it took not more than 10 minutes really really well guided through the instruction manual it was kind of easy I mean they're all pretty look the same all the lasers and gravers I had come with a four four bars that's all the like the frame and then the main module which rolls inside and the strips to put on the side that will make the uh, Y axis roll up and down. So very easy putting together. Model laser is 10 watt as I said. So I wasn't expecting for a lot of power, but I was surprised to see that the power is all there. I mean, uh, focusing system is very easy. You just use this knob to focus the, uh, the laser, just lean it on top of the material you want to engrave and then start engraving. Setting up of uh, light burn was straightforward. Just select a GRLB uh, engraver with uh, your uh, the size 40 by 40 and USB cabling and it reads it extremely, extremely fast. The laser engraver also has Wi-Fi capabilities and probably they, there's an app. I haven't downloaded that yet. I will do that in, in the future, but it worked like a charm straight away with the USB cable and I was enjoying so much engraving that I wasn't losing time for for all this like connectivity issues but there is an app and there's Wi-Fi connectivity for your reference. What I loved about this laser engraver is the fact that it comes with a really small hub and you can uh, plug in light and the fan and you have an extra controller here on the side and you can on switch on and off the fan and the light which is something that's you know considered considered luxurious for uh, for a uh, like uh, non-professional laser engraving uh, studio setup. This is probably the best 10 watts laser engraver I've found so far because it cuts with the same ease as it engraves, 
and uh, I've probably engraved the best picture ever so far. Probably I got the exact right setting. By the way, all the settings that I use will be in, um, uh, in a screenshot at the end of this video, so follow me. I will mention the setting uh, I had during the presentation of uh, the engraves or the, the cuts that I've made. I will start that by showing you the picture I'm talking about. And as you can see, I mean, I was, I was kind of astonished when, uh, when it was coming out. I mean, I could see it from the plastic from the top of the enclosure and I said, it's really, really coming like with fine details. I mean, I played around with the Jarvis setting and the image setting in Lightburn, but I wasn't expecting for something so fine detailed. And this is where the range, like the spectrum range of the laser engraver is delivering quality. The fine details transform into pixel and it really looks like a, a black and white picture. This was the first one, the first engraving test that I did. I did a cut here, probably was even too, too strong because it went through it with one pass at 80% with 100% speed. So this is it this is a one millimeter plywood and uh, going back to the picture this was done at 700 speed with 30 percent power so pretty fast and at the same time this would took half an hour to do and the result was amazing so i said what are we dealing with i mean it's a 10 watt and still it's delivering so fast and so and so quality <laughs> together with the with the accessories that were provided with uh, uh, with the package I got this two centimeters long plywood I did some tests of the engraving as you can see I started from here too powerful and then got here and this is was what I was telling you about this is 700 um, of speed with 30% power then I did a uh, cut an engraving uh, an engraving test all of them confirmed my theory <laughs> you engrave uh, at uh, like you perfectly engrave at like from an range from 1000 to 600 and a power that goes from 20 to 40 and you will have really really fine details and you cut at a power of 50 two passes at, at a speed of uh, 200 you can even test 100 it will probably be like more like you know burnt a little bit so this test on the wood it didn't surprise me it cut through like uh, like like a charm so it was it was fantastic what else like i well, another thing that i like to do is leather and uh, the proof that i didn't think it was so strong is this result all the one on the top are done at a sp like like really slow because I didn't know what to expect. In the end, the best engraving was found at 1,200 of speed with a 30% power. And uh, yeah, we're talking about results very very similar to the 21 22 watts that I've uh, reviewed card up here like the 60 by 60 laser engraver that I reviewed a little a little while ago so settings are like more or less the same but less than half the power I mean this is weird and at the same time is something that I like because versatility and size on a, on a laser engraver like this is kind of a exciting I like it let's stay on uh, on wood before moving to the other materials and uh, this is a two centimeters bar of wood and uh, it cut through in uh, i think two passes i will give you all the details down in here in the description or on the display to tell you how i cut this but this was extremely fast and extremely easy so I was surprised. After a regular cut, like a straight cut, I wanted to test 
something different. After cutting this, I wanted to test like a circle in the middle. I tried this, but it didn't go through. I adjust the settings and as you can see, there we go, two centimeters cylinder right out of this hole and this is amazing even though it's a little bit burnt i mean the hole it left in the middle is practically like it looks like it was cut with a knife so i really really loved this feature again don't forget it's a 10 watts and it's delivering eh? like this for me is a a really really green flag about this laser engraver I'll leave the best part to the end let's get to the black coated uh, aluminium ID cards and I was pleased I was pleased when I saw the results I mean you judge after engraving of course it was cleaned with some isopropyl alcohol same I did for the back. This is QR code for my my social network. This was extremely fast, powerful. The power you can see it here down on the screen. And <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I, I really, really like it. I mean, I had this quality only on a desktop uh, laser engraver head, but it took like an hour to do. I do did this back and forth like on a, in a total of like 15 minutes probably and the results left me really really pleased okay let's get to the two juicy parts first is the acrylic uh, that was so kind that in the package there was um, some black acrylic and I must say it's the first time I cut acrylic so I was kind of a, a virgin from this point of view Okay, I tasted it first and this was the engraving and uh, I was asking myself if I could actually cut through it and I planned this same logo with a keyring and there you go this is a great result I mean curves looks like look like they were cut and guys 10 watt laser and this is the result i mean this is acrylic guys and it's like 2.5 millimeters i think and engraved part in the middle and cut the cut is extremely clean and this piece of acrylic i will probably order more over the internet because i'm loving the way it's cutting and i have some couple of ideas on what I could possibly do. Last thing I engraved was metal. And as you can see, my logo was engraved on this spatula. And uh, something funny about this is that it took less than a minute. I mean, something was wrong with the setting. It was too fast, in my opinion. But in the end, when I moved the laser and I saw it was actually engraved, <laughs> I said, yeah, this is something that uh, doesn't happen so, so often. I mean, take a look at the fine detail of the character underneath. I mean, it's written the, the 3D print geek on the bottom. And I mean, th the results are not what you expect for a 10 watt laser. And I don't want to be boring about this. I mean, Algo Laser sent it for reviewing purpose, but, but they didn't pay me to talk good. Um, I can say whatever I think. And uh, I still cannot believe that a 10 watt is delivering such uh, amount of, of power. Wrapping up, Algo Laser for me is a thumbs up. I really love the laser, 10 watt that's delivering, I don't know how, 
a lot of power. I love the enclosure and I love the honeycomb. I mean, the honeycomb is pretty standard. It's good to have the complete set. What I loved is the enclosure. The enclosure is really, really well made. It can be folded and put away in, uh, in a wardrobe or whatever. I mean, it disappears from sight. And of course it can be used with all your other lasers. What I would have loved to test would have been air assist because the laser engraver itself already is like, uh, it comes with uh, air assist uh, predisposition. It all, I also had the tube, but I was missing the motor. I will probably get one of my old motors and put it in, put it in place. But overall it's a complete laser. I mean, it's a complete solution for you at home and it comes with all the features you need to start. So would I suggest it for a beginner? Yeah, I would definitely suggest it for a beginner. My suggestion, get a honeycomb and get the enclosure. All the links for your reference, by the way, will be down in the description. That was all for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the like button if you did like the video. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and I'll see you guys on the next video.